Hey guys! Today I'm going to be doing my double LDs, which is um, just same as monthly favourites. Apart from, mine's is called double LDs. So what that is, is double L for love, like and dislike. So obviously double L for love and like and then D for dislike. I'm going to this month, I've got two loves, two likes and one dislike. So I'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with oops, the daisies. I've got them all scattered about the place and they're all holy things as well. Um, I'm going to start off with this. This is the Clinique Rinse Off Foam and Cleanser Mousse. Um, this is a makeup remover. It is around £16, I think. £16.50 maybe. Something along those lines. Um, and obviously it's from Clinique. I was going to talk about my uh, Lazero Cleanse and Polish, but I thought everyone talks about Lazero Cleanse and Polish, so why not talk about this? So at night time when I'm doing my face, um, when I'm doing my face, when I'm taking my makeup off, I use this first, um, I just put a wee bit on my hand and foam it up and put it all over my face and then I use my Lazero Cleansing Polish. Um, but when you use this, you just put a small amount, like you really need like the tiniest amount on your hands, run it under hot water and then foam it up and put it all over your face and massage it in. When you massage it in, it's like, I don't like the smell. It smells like, it doesn't have a smell. It's more kind of like, um, it's, it just smells like your makeup, what dirty makeup would smell like when it's coming off. Um, so yeah, this stuff is amazing. Don't put it in your eyes. Seriously, from experience, it's things like a a wasp, right? Do not put it in your eyes. Use a separate eye makeup remover if you're going to use this. Why is my lighting went all weird? Um, if you're going to use a uh, use this, don't put it in your eyes. This stuff it gets lipstick off as well. It's like a lip balm, and I had serious problems from my. Um, Oh, what? my mirror makeup challenge, no mirror makeup challenge. I put loads of lip liner on and then I slapped on uh, the kissable lips, which I'm also going to talk to about in a minute. Um, and I was like that, scrubbing, I couldn't get it off because it like stained my lips and this stuff like just wiped it off. This like totally melts the makeup and just takes it off and it leaves a squeaky clean feeling on your skin. So like totally takes every single bit of makeup off. Um, it says it's been allergy tested and it's 100% vegan free for normal skin. Um, and that is what it says. So yeah, I got this from Clinique and it's an amazing makeup remover. So if you're looking for a makeup remover then try this. I'm sure you'll love it. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Bam Stain. This one, mine is in, what colour is this? 020 Lovesick Passion -y. Lovesick, anyway. So this, I've had this for ages but I wasn't really liking it until I used it in my other video. The... No Mirror Makeup Challenge video. When I used it in that, when I used it in that video, I put in a, what's it called? Lip liner on under it and it looked quite nice. I've got it on today and um, it stays on for ages. I've had this on since, what time did I do my makeup at? About 11 o'clock. And it's now 25 to 5. So I have this one for that length of time. And um, it's worn off a wee bit. But not too much. So that's amazing. Yes, right! 
always interrupt my videos. <laughs> so, um, where was on this? Yeah, I love the colour. Um, it does stay on, although it's like... It's still quite bammy, although it does dry out. Um, after you've had it on, like it wouldn't stay like... Lip. Um, what's that word like it takes a wee while to dry out like it's starting to dry out just not, well, it's not drying out like my lips can still with these but like it's not as I don't know what I'm trying to say here but uh, if you're like because I'm sure Clinique also do these it's like what's it they call them can't remember what clinic calls them but um they've got these as well and Revlon are just as good I would say um for like the texture and everything I think it's just the exact same so that is Revlon and Revlon that is my loves for this month of February uh, and on to my light so first of all I'm going to start off with the one that I've been on YouTube talks about and that is the Last and Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. It says 16 hour wear by Collection 2000. absolutely love this, right, just because <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I don't really need to say too much about it. I think it's about 4 99 or something and um, like I've covered my spots here today with them. I've got loads of you red ones there and there. Um and I think I've covered it's covered them up quite well. I like that it's got one of these and it's not like a pory out one or one that you need to dab a brush into. I like these. Um in fact I'll show you here. So if I just put that on over that. Um, oh, I've just got a text. Who the hell is this? Oh, it's my mum's friend. She's coming down from Aberdeen um, next month for my birthday. I've not seen them in like a year or something. Because, like, obviously Aberdeen's, like, three hours away from Glasgow or something, so we don't get to see her that much. And her wee boy's coming down with her. Her wee boy's, like, seven. So excited to see him. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, so, yeah, this. This stuff is amazing. I feel like, I don't know, looking for a new concealer, I would really recommend this. It's by Collection 2000. You can get it in Superdrug I bought mine from. I think you probably get it in Boots as well, maybe. I'm not I'm not sure. I always go into Superdrug, so um, I got this in Superdrug. Maybe try Boots as well, or wherever you like to go. Um, another thing that everyone always says is like their um, writing rubs off. And I had this for about three months, and it's only just starting to rub off. Um, it's only just starting to rub off but I've actually found out that I think I said this in one of my other videos actually that if you put a clear like top coat or base coat onto the writing like as soon as you get it um, it stops it from rubbing off just like if you're not wanting it to rub off or if you like to keep your stuff neat and tidy um, like I hate when all that stuff rubs off it just infuriates me so yeah, this is a like and this, it's actually ran out, I'm like that, trying to get some. I guess I could probably cut it open and try and like pour it out, um, which I do with like everything, like I get testers, this is how sad my life is, I get testers right. And usually I do this, I like bang them out and I try, so I don't get any, I just find them bin. But I mean, you're not going to be able to see that, Blech. Well, you might be able to see there's like a big doll up there that would do me like two another like maybe two times this moisturizer 
um, and I'd have just flung that in the bin before but now I'm like no waste not want not I don't even know if that makes sense but I love that you see um, right so yeah that is one of my likes for this month is the less than perfection concealer 16 hour we are I don't know if it's 16 hour we are but it definitely does last um, and I would recommend it Next is another concealer. It's the Rimmel's Wake Me Up. Um, it says anti fatigue, 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 <laughs> fatigue. <laughs> is that not French or something? Um, effect Radiant Glow Concealer Corrector. I think this. I'm not entirely sure how much this was. I think it's about six ninety nine, maybe. This look like a kind of lighter one. So I use this like around my eyes, um, just to, like wake them up a bit. I'll also use it under my eyebrows, um, in the corner of my eye, and on that wee bit. Cupid's Cupid's bow or something that's called. Um, and on my spots, I put that on first before I put the concealer on because this says it's a corrector, so I'd presume that it's like supposed to correct the colour or something like that, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's just what I presume from, I don't know. Um, anyway, with this, this stuff is amazing because I'm not a morning person at all. I wake up at like half eight or something, well if I'm awake at half eight, and um, if I'm awake at that time in the morning, I'll be like, mm, look like dead. You put this on and it like just makes your eyes like go whoa. Oh yeah, I forgot to say what colour am I in this? Ugh. See a bloody well it was on that bit, but the barcode has totally come off. I use light two in that one. And did you not have a clue what colour this one is? It doesn't say. Anyway, um, I totally love the packaging for this as well and because it's like a wake me up kind of thing, I think the orange and the silver is like a wake up kind of colour. Um, I'll show you a wee bit on. I'll do it under my eyebrow. And then just kind of like pat it in. See how bright it is? Under there compared to that one. Where's the foot? And here we go. Yes, there. there we go. Alright, anyway. Um, another thing, my eyebrows. I went and got my eyebrows done at a uh, body and mind, and they were so nice to done them. Um, they cost me ten pounds and if you're looking for somewhere good to go and get your eyebrows done, I would really recommend going to Body and Mind. I used to go to Benefit, but I had a bit of a bad experience with them, so I've not been back. Although I really love the way they done my eyebrows. But yeah, anyway, um, Body and Mind, they're amazing. So on to my dislike for the month of February. And that has got to be... <laughs> This it's the Big Fake Ultimate Fake Lash Effect Mascara by Collection 2000. I like Collection 2000 because, as you can see, I do like their concealer, and I will buy this for the rest of my life because I don't think I'll find a better concealer. But their mascaras are absolutely rubbish. Well, this one is anyway. I don't, I wouldn't try any more of the mascaras because of this one. Now, I know it did only cost me, it was either two ninety nine or three ninety nine. might have been one ninety nine. Um, but, I don't know. It says, big fake ultimate fake lash effect. So I was like, whoa, I'm going to get massive fake lash effect eyelashes. Which, mm, it was just the same as any other mascara, really. And um, 
the fall down I got off of this was ridiculous. It was like I had a black eye by the end of the day. Um, I thought maybe it's like the eyeliner that I'd been using for about four months and never had a black eye at the end of the day. So I was like, I won't use the eyeliner and I'll just try the mascara. No, it was the mascara. So I really don't recommend that you would get this. Um, that's a waste of money. And if you like black eyes, then maybe get it. But I like the packaging, like that kind of bit and all this. But I just don't like the fact that it gave me black eyes and all flaky. And um, in fact, I'll try and show you just now. I think it's probably something to do with the size of the brush as well. Look at the size of the brush. It's like three times the size of my bloody eye. Like, <laughs> not exaggerating. <laughs> right, so I'll try and show you what kind of effect it gives. The reason I'm not mind putting this on just now is because I'm not actually going out anywhere, so I'm just going to stay in. Okay. Can you tell the difference from that eye and that eye? You can kind of tell that, like, it does make that eye look a bit more stand out of you, like the eyelashes. But I don't know, it's it's the fall down that just annoys me. And I'm not degrading them because I do like their concealer, their concealer is amazing. Oh my god, 17 minutes. Right, I'm going to go just now because my mum shouted on me like 15 minutes ago or something that my dinner was ready. Um, I'm going to go just now. This was actually a day. Today's Friday. I'm not doing anything tonight or this weekend. Went shopping today and I got my mum's Mother's Day presents. So I'm not going to say what in case mum watches this, but um, Mother's Day is the 10th of March 2013. It's a Sunday. Don't forget guys, get your mum something lovely. Right, I'm away now. Hope you all have a lovely wee weekend. Bye.